You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Good show today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Because CNAs matter. An Easterner on his first trip west traveling on a bus tour, wasn't moved by the scenery, scoffed at the Grand Canyon. He yawned at the petrified forest and the painted desert and had no interest at all in Yellowstone Park. <laughs> when the bus driver had too much of this carping and indifference, he finally turned to the fellow and said quietly, Mister, when you haven't got it inside, you don't see it outside. There were two ships in a harbor. One was sitting out on a journey. The other was coming home to port. Everyone cheered the ship going out, but the incoming ship was scarcely noticed. To this, a wise man said, Do not rejoice over a ship setting out to sea, for you cannot know what terrible storms it may encounter. Rather, Rejoice over the ship that has safely reached port and brings its passengers home in peace. This is the way of the world. When a child is born, all rejoice. When someone dies, all weep. We should do the opposite. For no one can tell what trials and travails await a newborn child. But when mortals die in peace, we should rejoice for they have completed a long journey. And there's no greater blessing than to leave this world with the imperishable crown of a good name. Failures come to us all, no matter how hard we try. Sometimes things will go wrong. Success is usually gained through long striving, though occasionally it is reached with less difficulty. After all, the harder we have to work for the attainment of an object, the more we appreciate it when it is in our possession. Do not be discouraged because of failure. Begin over. Throughout the entire world, people are beginning over. There is not a household but has learned this lesson. There is rebuilding done at all times of the year, a pulling down of half-finished plans, a ripping out of false stitches, and a new start being made. Take fresh courage and try again. No matter how hard it may be, Break a spider's web, and she will set to work immediately to repair the damage. Rob a beehive, and the little occupants will go on making cells and gathering fresh stores of honey. Brush down an anthill, and the busy little ants will go to cleaning out the rubbish and rebuilding at once. It is always credible to be willing to begin over. 
a doctor who had devoted his life to helping the poor, lived over a liquor store in the section of a large city. In front was a sign saying, Dr. Williams is upstairs. When he died, he had no relatives, left no money for his burial. He never asked for payment from anyone that he had ever treated. Friends and patients scraped together money to bury the good doctor, but they had no money for a tombstone. Someone came up with a wonderful suggestion. They took the sign from the front of the store and they nailed it to a post over his grave. <laughs> it made a lovely epitaph. Dr. Williams is upstairs. That's the way the story was told. Many things will catch your eye. But only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.